Okay, so I cleaned the uh, the face and stuff, and on this seal, I greased it nicely, and uh, both sides. And on this seal here, let me pop this off. You don't want to be tapping anywhere. I don't know if you can see the slide; it's crazy. You don't want to be knocking anywhere on here because this is actually this seals with the other mating part there's like a dust cover that goes inside here it's not really a seal but it's a rubber mating face that uh, keeps the dirt out so if you start knocking with a hammer here or anything you might bend that because it's a little sheet metal very thin so I found a Rust-Oleum cup a cap not cup a cap for Rust-Oleum paint that fits pretty snug in here very nicely so I can use this to tap the seal in without uh, knocking on this uh, metal part here. Okay, so I, uh, I punched the hole in, in the center of that with a screwdriver. It's a kind of plastic that breaks easily, so it might break on me here. But I'm hoping it's going to go in without much... problems here. Let's so make sure this thing's going in straight. Kinda hard to see anything, but it's going in okay. Needs to tap it on this side. I'm sure there's a special tool for all this, but that's the tool I don't have. See now it starts breaking. Well, that's what I was afraid of. This plastic is just not strong enough. I got about halfway in with it, so yeah. Oh shit! Fucking oil. figure out well, I'm gonna try to use a wood and a hammer hopefully I'm not gonna bend this face here because I don't I don't know I don't have the special tool to do this right so just have to get it flat against the face and tap it now it's almost in so I guess it doesn't take much force. Alright, now I can move this oil tub out of here because now that the seal is in, it's not gonna leak. Okay. At least get this out of the way. Of course I got oil all over the place on the ground and everything. I gotta move this up. Because I can't see anything if I don't lay underneath. Get my pillow. The pillow underneath. <laughs> underneath me here. Ah. comfortable spot that's for sure but I gotta be able to see how this thing is going straight or not so it's high on this side Ugh. I wish I had something round that actually goes over the seal. Maybe the old seal. I'll bring the old seal. Maybe I can use that to drive this thing down. Uh. 
I don't know if I'm already all the way in. I don't want to put any more force than I have to on this thing. I think I already bent it. Yeah, I did. It's done. It's done. Yeah. I gotta order a new seal. Get a new seal and then uh, I'm gonna make a special special tool at work. Because this one's already shot. That's a shame. That's what happens. Shit. Here's the uh, seal. See the bend in it? That's from me tapping with the wood. And you can't do that. Because like I said, this face actually is... Mating seal goes on and rides on this face. So I just went to Rock Auto and I bought two of them. Overnight them. Four ninety-three per piece. They were nineteen, eighteen dollars or seventeen dollars at the Adventure Auto. What a ripoff! I hate these stores. Just hate them. They just charge your arm and leg for something. It's actually three and a half times the uh, the price versus Rock Auto. So, and I'm gonna make a, a tool to push this thing in the right way at work and uh, get this job done. Thanks for watching. And oh, here's the uh, mating part in case if you don't know what I'm talking about. See this here? This rubber? This rubber rides inside here on this rubber, on, the, on this, uh, let me pull it off on this face right here. See, this is actually rubber, and it kind of seals off all the dirt and stuff, and, well, it didn't work so well because the seal is shot, but technically I should be replacing both of them, but the race on this thing is just beautiful. There's no marks or anything, and there's no wear on this rubber part, so I'm going to leave that alone and just replace the seal because the, the seal, you can see, the seal here, it's gone. It's almost, it's worn out. That's the old one. That's the new one. So, so anyways, I got two more seals coming up. Should have them tomorrow. I don't know. I ordered it's 3:30 p.m., so probably won't ship today. I'll have it probably in two days, even with uh, overnight shipping. But it's only Tuesday, so I should be able to uh, by Thursday get the seals and get this job done. Thanks for watching.